let us now discuss one very important concept from time and distance which is called as relative speed the concept of relative speed is very important in solving various types of questions from time and distance so let us first understand what is meant by relative speed relative speed is defined as speed of one body with respect to another body so whenever two bodies are moving at the same time then this concept of relative speed comes into picture let us assume that you are sitting in a train which is running at the speed of 80 kilometers per hour if there is another train which is also running at the same speed that is 80 kilometers per hour in the same direction parallel to your train then you find that the other train appears to be stationary with respect to your train so we can say that the speed of the second train with respect to your train is 0 kilometers per hour so this speed of 0 kilometers per hour that is because of the other train appearing to be stationary is referred to as relative speed actually speaking the other train is also running at the speed of 80 kilometers per hour but from an observer's point of view who is sitting in the first train the second train appears to be stationary so that is what is called as relative speed now there are two possible cases for relative speed one is relative speed when the bo two bodies are running in opposite direction and the second one is relative speed when both the bodies are moving in the same direction so let us understand how to calculate relative speed in these two cases now case one here is when two bodies are running in opposite direction with speed s1 and s2 respectively then the relative speed is equal to s1 plus s2 that is nothing but the sum of the speeds and the case two here is when the two bodies are running in same direction so when two bodies are running in same direction with the speeds s1 and s2 respectively then the relative speed is equal to s1 difference s2 that is nothing but the difference of the speeds so very clearly the one point which we need to understand here is whenever two bodies are running in opposite direction the relative speed is sum of the speeds and whenever two bodies run in the same direction then their relative speed is the difference of their speeds the simple point here is when two bodies run in same direction the relative speed there should be taken as the difference of their speeds and when two bodies run in the opposite direction there the relative speed should be taken as the sum of their speeds for example let us assume that two trains are running in opposite directions on two different tracks with the speeds of 40 kilometers per hour and 60 kilometers per hour respectively so the relative speed of one train with respect to the other train is given as sum of their speeds because they are moving in opposite direction so we can say that the relative speed will be 40 plus 60 that is 100 kilometers per hour similarly if these two trains run in the same direction that is one train runs at 60 kilometers per hour and the other train is running at 40 kilometers per hour in the same direction then the relative speed here can be taken as difference of their speeds that is nothing but 60 difference 40 which is 20 kilometers per hour so this is how when two bodies run at the same time either in opposite directions or same directions we always need to consider the relative speed but not their individual speeds let us now take an example based on the concept of relative speed the question here is two cars starting from the same point and moving in opposite directions will be 227.5 kilometers apart in 3 hours 15 minutes had they been traveling in the same direction they would have been 32.5 kilometers apart in the same time find the speed of both the cars so here we are supposed to find out the speed of both the cars now as given the question they have started from the same point and they're moving in the opposite directions so very clearly suppose two cars when they start from the same point and move in opposite directions let us assume this is the starting point and when the cars move in opposite directions they will be 227.5 kilometers apart in 3 hours 15 minutes so the distance covered by both the cars together is 227.5 kilometers in a time of 3 hours and 15 minutes but when they travel in the same direction they would have been 32.5 kilometers apart in the same time so from the same point if they travel in the same direction they would have been only 32.5 kilometers apart in the same time that is nothing but 3 hours and 15 minutes so from this data we are supposed to find out the speed of both the cars let us first convert this time of 3 hours 15 minutes into a proper unit that is completely into hours we know that 15 minutes is nothing but one fourth of an hour and one fourth of an hour can be taken as 0.25 hours so this 3 hours and one fourth of an hour will altogether become 3.25 hours and even in the second case the time will be 3.25 hours now let us see how can we find out speed of both the cars 
Now very clearly when the two bodies are moving in opposite direction relative speed should be taken as S1 plus S2 and we know that when they move in the same direction the relative speed should be taken as S1 difference S2 or S1 minus S2. So let us use this concept of relative speed in finding out the answer here. We know that the general equation is speed is equal to distance by time. So when the two bodies are moving in opposite direction the relative speed is nothing but S1 plus S2. So we can say S1 plus S2 equals to distance by time. The distance is 227.5 kilometers divided by the time is 3.25 hours. And when they move in the same direction the relative speed is S1 difference S2. See generally we take difference because we need to have a positive relative speed. So here let us assume that the first car is running at a higher speed. So we can take it as S1 minus S2 and that should be equal to distance by time. So the distance is 32.5 kilometers and the time taken is 3.25 hours. Here again conversions are not required. Why? Because the distance is given in kilometers and the time is given in hours. So the speed what we get will be in kilometers per hour. Now let us try to simplify this. This 3.25 goes 70 times in 227.5 and 3.25 goes 10 times in 32.5. So we can say that S1 plus S2 equals to 70 and from the second case we can say that S1 minus S2 equals to 10. Now if we try to solve both the equations which have got two variables we will get the individual speeds. Let us first add both the equations. So S1 plus S1 gives 2 S1 plus S2 and minus S2 gets cancelled and 70 plus 10 will be equals to 80. So very clearly the speed of first car will be 80 by 2 that is 40 kilometers per hour because the time is given in hours and the distance is given in kilometers. Now if the speed of first car is 40 kilometers we know that sum of their speeds is 70. So it is obvious that the speed of second car should be 30. Why? Because 40 and 30 together make 70. Or from the difference equation we can say that the speed of second car should be 30 because 40 minus 30 will be equal to 10. So the speed of second car equals to 30 kilometers per hour. So these are the speeds of both the cars. So friends this is how we can use the concept of relative speed in solving questions where two bodies are moving at the same time in opposite direction or same direction.